Today we ask the age old question. Will it bagel? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. You've got just a few chances left to see us live in person. We got an evening of comedy and your favorite songs coming up in Arizona, New Mexico, California, four November shows that wrap up the entire year. Mm -hmm. Get tickets while they last at redlinklive.com. What? Redlinklive.com. Now on to bagels. Truthfully, I didn't even know what a bagel was until college. <laughs> I'm not lying. Born and raised in Harnett County, y'all. There's this place on Hillsborough Street selling the rubberiest donuts I ever wrapped my lips around. Uh, now, I knew what a bagel was, I just didn't think you'd be interested. <laughs> uh, and in a world where bagels come in all flavors, we assert that only the surface of bageldom has been scratched. So today we aim to make a deep gash. It's time for Will It Bagel? bagel? What I've come to understand is bagels are dense little bread rings that are boiled, then baked, then topped with a wide variety of seasonings and most often served with cream cheese schmear mm. and more. But that's the old boring bagel. Our new bagels will be altered. Yeah, so let's kick things off with a bagel gone hog wild, bacon themed from head to dough. <laughs> We're calling it Bagel of Pigs. Yes. It's like a like a Reagan era political reference bagel. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm all about those. Okay, tell us about this, Josh. What you uh, the Bay of Pigs? I, no, I'm no, sure. the bagel. Oh, okay, sorry. So I took a bacon and bacon fat and infused that into the actual dough. So you can see bacon studded throughout the actual bagel. Then I topped it with bacon bits, then made a bacon and bacon fat schmear inside. Schmear, I like that word. It's, um, it's, it's dense, <laughs> it's hearty, it smells good and greasy. Okay. I mean, I mean, so, how do you eat a bagel? Like a burger. <laughs> okay, so, whoop, did you see that? Yeah, you got a little, I, you I leaked. Can't, I can't get some momentum there. Dink it, sink it. Oh, mm. look what happened in the middle of my bagel when I took a bite of it. It gushed. Came right out of my schmear hole. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Is that the proper term? Yeah, every bagel has a schmear hole. Um, it's a bit much. I'm not complaining, it's not that it tastes bad, but if you were to get through this whole bagel, yeah, you you'd have to elevate your feet. I, yeah, I, you know, you have to be I, like in a reclined position the rest I, of the day. I think I understand what you mean by that. <laughs> I think what we have here is a case of too much of a good thing. Mm. Yeah, I honestly mm. think that too much of a good thing can happen, and I felt like it, it happened. I mean, when it came out of my schmear hole like that, I was like, this is more than my body can handle. Sorry, man. Wow. Yeah. What an upset. Bacon, will, <laughs> will it, it bagel? bagel? No. no. We like to be the change we wish to see in the world, and the world we believe in has a Taco Bell themed bagel. So, welcome to our world. We're calling this Taco Bagel. <laughs> yeah. Does that work? Yes. Okay. Oh, we got some fire sauce I here. I feel like I can, I know what you did by looking at it, but I wanna hear it come out of your mouth. Anyway. <laughs> All right, so uh, it's a Doritos Locos bagel. So we infused actual Doritos Ooh. into the bagel dough and then crusted that with crushed up Doritos. Then there's a nacho cheese fire sauce schmear with Taco Bell meat, lettuce, tomato, and sour cream, because that's the Supreme. Supreme style. All right, Got look it. at that. I want to, it's not that I don't like the tomatoes, it's just I want to get a better look at what's underneath. Oh, that's it. I like our relationship where I put raw tomatoes on everything and you just take them off and we right. never talk about it. Right. We just accept never. it. We never talk about it. I did, I did We're not currently fire, talking about it. Little fire sauce. Uh, I dink it. Oh, I dink it. Air dink and sink. Oh gosh, I got a little on my beard. <laughs> this is gonna start happening more and more, so just get used to it. Mm. Nacho cheese and fire sauce smear is good. Let me just say, the stack, the deck <laughs> was stacked in favor of this because everything at Taco Bell is all the same ingredients rearranged mm. in a different form. Mm. And all you've done mm. is just done that exact thing again in a way that they may never anticipate to do. It's so, a freaking taco bagel. Yeah. Like corn tortilla inside. It, uh -huh. ta it tastes amazing. Yeah, this is very, very good. <laughs> oh, Brugger's. Especially those tomatoes. Oh, I, we need to get them to mate. Like get Brugger and Taco Bell to mate. 
And this is we did it. That's not how it works. So usually it's just a meeting, like a corporate meeting. They don't actually have to mate. It's great. Make a mate. Taco what? Bell will it bagel? Yes. yes. Now I love classic old school delicatessens, but they present too many choices. Do mm. I want a bagel or soup, potato or egg salad? Mm. Should I get eight ounces of pickled herring or just walk into the ocean with the peace of knowing I'll never make a decision again? Well, it turns out we can have it all. Introducing the soup bagel. Bagel and soup together, but okay, Josh. I have a feeling that there's gonna be soup and oh! soup! <laughs> it's a freaking flying saucer! Woo! It's a bread bowl, I can smell but it's it. a bagel! Put it back, and you don't know. You're just like, it's a big babel, babel. <laughs> it looks like a freaking bread reef. And then you're like, oh! This is how the aliens are gonna get us. Man, look at it through the bagel. Look at that. What? Let them, look, look. Put it, put it up to Andrew's camera. Look at it through the bagel. You gotta get the angle right. Look at it through the, through the schmear hole. Hello, is it working? Is this right? Is that it? Yes. Look through the schmear hole. All right, let's get into this. So. The legend of the schmear hole. Did you just buy the biggest bagel? No, <laughs> we, we made the biggest bagel. That's uh, the biggest a, bagel. That is a homemade gigantic bagel. It's topped with oyster crackers, bacos, the fake stuff, not the real stuff, and green onions. And then the inside is a cream cheese chowder. And you can play a game where you each pull side of the bagel and see who's gonna have good luck this year. <sighs> oh. <laughs> we're both gonna have good luck! <laughs> Whoa. No, no, we're both gonna have we're a bad year. We're both screwed, oh gosh, all right. Oh, look at this, this is a fancy chowder. Now, I think you gotta do something with this part yeah. of the bagel. I feel like you gotta take this. Well, I'm gonna hold it and you, bite it. You dab and then you. Hmm. Wow. People would go to a restaurant just for this. Have you been to the restaurant with the soup bagel? No, there's a soup bagel? Yeah, have you looked at the schmear hole? I know, this is like a, this is like a family appetizer thing. Everybody would be satisfied. The kids, the old folks, everybody in between. Right, especially if you put like a skee ball machine in the lobby. And you try to get it in the middle of the bagel? Yeah. Soup. Ooh. Will it bagel? Yes. yes. If I were to give bagels some constructive criticism, I would have to say they're too beige, mm -hmm. they struggle with communication skills, and they're not jello. Right. So we've gone ahead and fixed two out of three, and we're calling it Jello Darkness Mild Bagel, <laughs> <laughs> AKA the Jello Bagel. There's stuff in the jiggle. What's in jiggle. the jiggle? So in the jiggle is actually salmon that has been cured in blue jello powder, then encased oh, in blue jello. Why you gotta put Hold salmon? On. I was excited. It's a bagel. I was excited. I like salmon. We we only had the budget to put salmon in one of the bagels, so we chose jello. And so then there's also a gelatinized Can you strawberry see that? cream cheese. It's like a specimen. It's like Something yeah. that's been grown in a lab. You can break open the Jello and just eat the oh, fish. Now you can see it. Okay, so this is you said this is gelatinized cream cheese. Is that the yeah, one you the, used? Yeah, the the pink stuff. And yeah. then this is just a rainbow bagel. But it's made with four different Jello flavors, so actually mixed in. So the bagel itself is also Jello. Man, but what what do you think the salmon is going to do for this? Oh, make I don't know. It, I don't know. It anything tastes anymore. bad. I don't think I can do a. F I, oh gosh, look at what's happening to that. I'm gonna have to just take the top off to get the bottom and then try to get, oh gosh. I'll do the same. Make sure you get some salmon. Thank it. Yeah, thank it. <clears throat> Jello tastes good. Oh, gosh. Schmear tastes good. Oh, I hit the salmon pocket. I know I got some salmon, but, oh, just hit the salmon pocket. Mm. The salmon pocket is not as unpleasant as I anticipated. It's a wicked little surprise, but it is overpowered by the sweetness of everything else. But I would think that if I was eating this, I might send it back and ask, what? Ha why is there fish in it? Right. Mm. You know? Yeah. Um, so I appreciate the effort here. Um, it's actually very delightful. Except for the apart salmon. Apart from that. Yeah, right. I'm sorry. This is one situation where salmon came to the party and ruined it. Jello, will it bagel? No. No, except if you remove the salmon. Yeah. Well, it's been a pretty good ride, but at some point we must have angered the great almighty and it looks like trouble's coming our way. 
This bagel is an Old Testament style nightmare. We're calling it Plagal. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so what do you, you reference the plagues? What's in this? Yeah, correct. So uh, we have the darkness, of course, which is the charcoal and squid ink bagel. And then we have the uh, rain and frogs, which is why you have a frog salad done in the style of a whitefish salad. You have the locusts, obviously it came with the pestilence, and that's grasshoppers. And then, of course, the river turning to blood, which is why we have a blood schmear. Schmear. Blood schmear. Schmear. And snack on it. You could sell this recipe to vacation Bible schools everywhere. Oh yeah. The Maybe kids will love it and learn so much. <laughs> okay. Uh. <clears throat> okay, we just had our internal existential crisis. <laughs> now let's proceed to eat this. Well, I mean, do we make it's, a choice? Did God. <laughs> That's a pretty deep question. <laughs> <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah. Okay, we'll discuss that in more. Um, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think we got. I mean, you got to eat both. But I think you have to bite the open face and then bite this open face. But which open face do you bite first? Because if you're wrong, you will suffer for all eternity. <laughs> okay. Now that's frogs and mayonnaise. Yeah, more. Or I'm less. gonna bite that first because this is blood schmear. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. When I smelled it. There's something else in the blood. Yeah, bugs. Uh, cream cheese. <laughs> Locust. Oh yeah, there's cream cheese. Like it's okay. Should be nice. That it should be nice. He says it actually because there's so much being thrown at this. It should be nice. You know, I might. I mean, you're not going to like it, but I, I appreciate the positive attitude. Let's let our people go. <laughs> <laughs> Which means just bite these. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's yeah, a forced analogy. I don't analogy. know who the people are. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, so I'm going for the white one and the red one. Yeah, yeah, here we go. Uh -oh. <coughs> <coughs> that blood, <coughs> that blood is hard to take. I think, I think there's so much bread and so much frog, I think I can do this. So much bread, like manna. I think we can part the sea of our own self-doubt yeah. and trudge forward into swallowing this nest. Yeah, and then let the walls of the sea crash down on the army of the Egyptians. It kind of not became an unanalogy <laughs> at the end. <laughs> Good source of protein. Yeah, big time. Mm. It's easier than 40 years in the wilderness. The problem is there's like four swallows. Yeah, I'm having trouble getting it. I'm having trouble working through it. There's one swallow. <clears throat> the blood has passed its nasty stage. And Moses came down from the mountain and said, <laughs> The plague. Will, Will it bagel? bagel? No! Oh, good God! What are you, crazy? Uh, well. Thank you for liking, commenting, and subscribing. <laughs> you know what time it is. Hi, I'm Chloe. And I'm Joe. And we just did Will It Bagel. Now it's time to spin the wheel of, of mythicality. mythicality. We, we, didn't, beat us we to didn't steal it. the idea. Click the top link to watch us try a spaghetti and meat bagel with Josh and Good Mythical More. And to find out where the Will of Mythicality is gonna land. Support a more adventurous tomorrow. Get yourself a future fast food tea today at mythical.com.